Hey, how's it going, guys? Mr. Boss for the winner. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be taking an awesome look at a really cool side by side comparison of the two San Andreas maps, one from 2013 and the other from 2004. There was obviously some huge differences in terms of size and landscape. So we're going to be taking a look at the difference between the setting of San Andreas and GTA 4. So full credit to the Reddit user Amaro Matt on the Grand Theft Auto 5 subreddit. He posted this photo right here, which I'll put on the screen right now. And you can see it's a side by side image of the Grand Theft Auto 5 map and the map from GTA San Andreas. So as you can see on the left, we have San Andreas from Grand Theft Auto 5. And on the right, we have San Andreas from GTA San Andreas. Now, as you can see, the two states are completely surrounded by water and look drastically different than their other counterparts. Now on the left, Los Santos, the fictional Los Angeles is that sprawling metropolis that you can see in the bottom part of the map that contains the docks, the airports, all of downtown Vinewood and downtown Los Angeles. However, it's missing those certain places is from GTA San Andreas. It's missing Las Venturas, which is Las Vegas, and San Fierro, which is based on San Francisco. However, GTA's San Andreas map is actually missing Sandy Shores, so it doesn't have the town of Grand Theft Auto V's Trevor, which is pretty interesting to note. So there hasn't been an exact square mileage given for Grand Theft Auto V's map, but we do know that it is the largest map of any Rockstar game created and it is bigger than Grand Theft Auto 4 maps, GTA San Andreas' map, and Red Dead Redemption's map combined. So those three worlds don't even compare to what we play on right now in Grand Theft Auto 5 and in GTA Online. So here's another photo. It actually contains all three. It contains GTA San Andreas. It also contains Grand Theft Auto 4's map, and it contains Grand Theft Auto 5's map. And you can see GTA 4 wasn't a huge upgrade from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas in terms of map size. Obviously, geography is going to be a little bit different as compared to Southern California and New York. Obviously, your landmarks and geographical textures are going to be different in terms of what you can do. But nevertheless, Grand Theft Auto 5 was a giant upgrade in terms of how much map there was. But if you think about it, a lot of it is desert and mountain ranges and kind of empty space. Not saying that Blaine County is worthless and I don't have a great time with it, but there is a lot of empty space. Whereas in Liberty City and San Andreas, there was like a ton going on on every part of the map, whether you're on the lower portion or towards the north, there was always a city kind of in range. And even in Liberty City, because of its, you know, geography of New York City, there was always, you know, big skyscrapers, dense cities or, or sprawling neighborhoods going on. Whereas on Grand Theft Auto 5, I really like the environment. But it's like once you get out of Los Santos and up into Blaine County, it kind of gets a little barren, which obviously it is, is the desert. So I'm not blaming Rockstar for having that in there. But it's just a comparison of these maps. And I think it's a cool conversation that I definitely think you guys should encourage in the comment section down below. So let me know what you think of all of these maps, whether it be Liberty City, Red Dead Redemption, Grand Theft Auto V maps, or GTA San Andreas's map. Let me know which one was your favorite and why. Be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Also, be sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA V videos like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.